गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द थर्ड लेवल बाय जैक फिनी यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ जैक फिनी हियर स्टिल नाउ वी हैव रेड द चार्ली द नरेटर हैड एक्सपीरियंस एन अदर लेवल इन न्यू ईयर ग्रांड सेंट्रल रेलवे स्टेशन बट ही कूडंट लोकेट दिस लेवल एनी मोर दैट्स वाई ही हैड टेकन कंसल्टेशन फ्रॉम हिज साइकियाट्रिस्ट फ्रेंड सेम एंड सेम हैड एसोसिएटेड दिस काइंड ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस with various psychological problem and his habit of stamp collection to which charlie was not satisfied and he wanted to convince the reader by sharing his own experience what happened that evening while returning his home from his office in a hurry he had taken railway route rather than traveling by bus and as a habit of entering the uh, grand central railway station through various gates various routes he had taken a different corridor route that day and that corridor left him angling left towards and downwards to another level and in that level he sees thing um, which were uh, little different from the second level and after seeing things in detail like the uh gas light uh, the the brass piton the wooden notice board uh, and the size of the rooms uh, and the dress uh, the people the were wearing uh, he was convinced that he had uh, travel to a different level that is third level and he has also travel to an older time rather than in the 1960 something he had travel to 80 90 something and later we know that it was of 1894 let's move to the chapter where we left so after knowing and becoming uh, sore uh, and con uh, confirmed after reading the uh, newspaper the world which dated june 11 1894 he knew that the third level was in the old time and it really surprised him but he had a desire to visit places of the 1890 times uh, that's why he wanted to visit uh, galesburg illinois which was a beautiful as per the a beautiful place as per the description given in the paragraph and we had discussed all these things that's why he want wanted to buy two tickets one for himself and one for his wife loisa so the clerk figure the fare he glanced at my fancy hat band but he figure the fare uh, that means uh, both were surprised Uh, charlie was surprised looking at the dress worn by uh, the clerk and the clerk was uh, in return surprised uh, by the headband charlie wore that day but he figured the pair and i had enough for the two for two coach tickets uh, one way but when i counted out the money and looked up the clerk was staring at me he nodded at the bills so what happens uh, that charlie had uh, one side uh, bill anyway he wanted to buy a one side a ticket for that day and no problem no matter but the clerk sitting there after looking at the bills or the currency bill is a term for the notes uh, in american english uh, so looking at the bills charlie was carrying the clerk nodded with disapproval denying that that bills uh, are not valid that ain't money must mister he said and if you are trying to skin me that means cheat me you won't get very far you will be caught and handed over to the uh, handed over to police he mentions indirectly and he glanced at the cash drawer beside him of course the money was old style bills and charlie also look at the drawer and in the drawer he sees that the bills in the drawers were uh half again as big as the money we use nowadays that means it was a uh, 50% larger than the money charlie carried and different looking i turned away and got out fast 
so he had no intention to stay there and uh, got caught by the police he left the place uh, fast there is nothing nice about jail even in 1894 in even 1894 jail is not a nicer place to stay that's why he flees away from the counter and he uh, returns the way he had approached uh, to that place goes back in the same tunnel and that was that i left the same way i came i suppose next day during lunch hour i drew 300 dollars out of the bank now here the fun begins because he hadn't um, he had not uh, sufficient pair he had a pair for one side that's why he wanted to buy a pair from both side and because the uh, uh, clerk had denied the validity of the bills or the currency uh, charlie had uh, he had made up a, another plan in his mind and that is that was he withdrew all his money that is 300 dollars out of the bank nearly all we had they had uh, that much money and they withdrew everything he withdrew everything and bought old style currency the fun begins so he exchanges his new currency with the old currency that really worried my psychiatrist friend in parenthesis in bracket he also says that when he had mentioned this kind of uh, absurd uh, behavior absurd thing the psychiatrist might have been in problem or he might have been uh, become sore that Uh, charlie was actually undergoing uh, uh, some kind of mental problem or some kind of uh, maniac uh, behaviorism you can buy old money at almost any coin dealers old currency was available because uh, people uh, do used to collect uh, old things and uh, antique things like stamp collection i had also mentioned uh, numismatics that is the study and collection of old kind those those people uh, collect those old currency and they, those things are available for exchange but they will charge some kind of premium premium uh, but you have to pay a premium my 300 dollars bought less than 200 in old style bills that means um, the extra charge was that uh, by 100 dollars was the extra charge in exchange of 300 dollars of the modern time uh, the money dealers the coin dealers gave him 200 dollars 100 dollar loss but he was not worried because eggs were 13 cents a dozen in 1894 charlie was not worried because he was try, he was going to um, uh, to buy things in the uh, old price because he is traveling to gelsberg uh, illinois of 1894 where things might be cheaper so it was uh, not a matter because he wanted to enjoy uh, old times and things were cheaper that's why he was not worried but i have never again found the corridor that leads to the third level at grand central station although i have tried often and now the problem is this one he had already withdrawn all his money in the bank exchanged it for the old currency and now he is unable to find the third level now he is in problem Luhaza was pretty worried when I told her all this and didn't want me to look for the third level anymore. When Luhaza also knew that Charlie had withdrawn all money exchanged and couldn't find the third level, she might be she might have been worried, thinking that uh, his husband Charlie has lost his mind or some kind of problem has happened to him. and she 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 would definitely she would have become worried no doubt okay uh, and after a while i stopped uh, she advises charlie not to look for the third level and after a while i stop he st- stops um, f- finding or trying to find the third level i went back to my stamps he then resorted to his uh, old hobby of collecting stamps rather than looking for the third level anymore but now we are both looking every weekend so here is a twist but now something happened that uh, at the beginning they searched for the third level then they couldn't find the third level then they uh, uh, made up their mind not to uh, look for the third level then something happened that they are still 
going to find the third level every weekend what happened that is the uh, last part of the story because you now we have proved that the third level is still there they have got some kind of proof that there is a third level my friend sam winner disappeared after charlie met sam winner and uh, shared his experience of third level and sam had associated it with some kind of psychological problem but sam himself is missing an exclamatory mark here nobody knew where but i sort of suspected because sam is a city boy and i used to tell him about galesburg i went to school there galesburg is a, a, a genuine place uh, where charlie studied he spent his childhood and he had mentioned about galesburg and uh, sam is a city boy he belongs to the same city so he would have traveled to galesburg but how and when look at the lines and he always said he liked the sound uh, of the place and that's where he is all right in 1894 and he is in 1894 he had he has become able to travel to 1894 and the proof comes in the paragraphs to uh, paragraphs that follows because one night fussing with my stamp collection i found well do you know what a first day coverage uh he breaks his speech or breaks his description he wants to tell you what a first day uh, coverage and i had also uh, told you in the first part first day cover and the detail is here when a new stamp is issued stamp collectors buy some and use them to mail an envelope to themselves on the very first day of sale and the postmark proves the date the envelope is called a first day cover they are never opened you just put blank paper in the envelope so he had got a first day uh, first day cover uh, envelope where a stamp was stamped uh, a, a postal stamp was stamped by the postal department and it was never opened it was never opened and uh, might be uh, charlie didn't Uh, try to uh, look at it seriously at the time thinking that it's a blank paper inside but that night among my oldest first day covers i found one that shouldn't have been there while locating the uh, envelopes he found some absurd date that is but there it was it was there because someone had mailed it to my grandfather at his home in galesburg that is what the address on the envelope said and it had been there since july 18 1894 so looking at the 1894 year something would have struck his mind and he might have opened the letter the postmark showed that and yet i didn't remember it at all the stamp was a 6 cent doll brown with a picture of president garfield naturally when the envelope came to garfield in the mail grand granddad sorry naturally when it came to granddad in the mail it went right into his collection and stayed there till i took it out and opened it so his grandfather who might have lived in the uh, years uh, of 1890s uh, might have received this letter because sam has traveled to 1894 and his grandfather charles grandfather was of that age so he might have uh, addressed it to his grandfather anyway something uh, we see something confusing is here confusion is here because of the time travel uh, so sam had written or mailed it to his grandfather's address and it stayed there unopened the paper inside wasn't blank it read charlie now so just the evidence that though it was a first day cover um and develop as per the perception of charlie it wasn't a first day cover it was uh, stamped 1894 no doubt but it wasn't a first day cover he had opened the letter addressed from 941 willard street galesburg illinois july 18 1894 and 
accent to Charlie. I got to wishing that you were right. Sam, it is Sam. Sam writes that I got to wishing that you were right. When I treated you or when I took my consultation, I thought uh, you are suffering from some kind of uh, problem. But at the same time, I had a wish that hope you were right. At that time, I didn't believe. Then I got to believing you were right. But I got to believing you were right. And Charlie, it's true. Gradually, I believed that it is true. And now it is sure that it is true. I found the third level. I have been here two weeks. And I have been living in this place for two weeks. And right now, down the street at the Dell is someone is playing a piano. And they are all out on the front for singing Sing Nelly Home. Maybe an old song. And I am invited over for lemonade. Come on back, Charlie and Luaza. Keep looking till you find the third level. It's worth it. Believe me. And Sam endorses by via this, this letter. By this letter that there is indeed a third level. And keep looking. Don't give up the idea of uh, not looking for the third level. It is indeed there. I am there. I have been living there for two weeks. Keep looking. And whenever you find the third level, do visit this place. It is worth travel believe me the note is signed sam and sam has signed the envelope now the last paragraph at the stamp and coin store i go to i found out that sam bought 800 dollars worth of old style currency so this is another evidence charlie has to prove that indeed there exists another level one the letter where sam has uh, endorsed that there is one he is there uh, almost for two weeks he has been living there for two weeks and another proof here is that uh, Charlie uh, maybe uh, out of eagerness inquired uh, how uh, Sam traveled to Galesburg he might have met the person selling the old currency and there he he is confirmed that Sam had bought $800 worth of old style currency and other uh, evidence that ought to set him off in a nice little hay feed and green business that means uh, 800 dollars is sufficient uh, to travel Galesburg and with the balance money he might have established a kind of business that is selling of hay feed and grain why because uh, charlie thinks that in 1894 psychiatry as a a specialization or a subject uh, wouldn't be in practice wouldn't be in vogue and people uh, might not be well aware of that uh, branch of science so he might have resorted to this kind of business that is hay feed and grain business he always said that that is what he really wished he could do and this thing sam heller also mentioned uh, previously then if he weren't a psychiatrist uh, he would have been uh, doing this or that or selling hay and uh, feed and grain business and he certainly can go back to his old business another reason why some uh, would have chosen this business is that uh, in 1894 as I mentioned psychiatrist wasn't an established branch of science not in Galesburg Illinois in 1894 his old business so Charlie mentioned this, that old business old business is the psychiatry and the new business is the uh, selling of hay and feet why sam was my psychiatrist actually i had revealed this it is written in the last part that sam is the psychiatrist and we come to know that the person has traveled to galesburg illinois and it is there but the question the very important question uh, which is often asked in the examination is your give your view or opinion about the existence of third level in new york grand central railway station if you support that there is a third level you can mention uh, these letters these uh, old currency purchase and sam's endorsement and if you oppose the view you might write that uh, the story is uh, after the two world wars where the mental condition of people was uh, not wholesome they underwent uh, to uh, several kind of uh, psychiatry psychiatry related problem so they 
might be thinking in any line they might be facing some kind of hallu- hallucination illusion uh, uh, and they might have uh, uh, some kind of waking dream wish fulfillment which is mentioned and uh, due to escapism this kind of uh, hallucination uh, is always a possible uh, again uh, you can also uh, write that uh, uh, the letter written by uh, sam to charlie may be written by himself charlie to prove his point so all these things may be mentioned anyway the chapter ends here and i'll be assigning you some questions you are to answer those uh, questions in uh, any old note copy if you haven't been able to purchase new ones you can write in any old copy and take the photocopy photograph and send it to my whatsapp uh, number so that i may check it and resend it to you thank you for today